Hi, this is Mr. Roach. We're back here with part two of our um, Java Swing Element GUI video. Okay, we are here. We have um, a couple of elements already installed. We have a J label. We have a button. Uh, we have a text field which you can add um, text to. But we wanted to put some things on the side, and that's what we're going to work on right now. Okay. So let's see what happens if we just um, we have we have a couple things declared up here in our our data section. Um, I got east panel and west panel. Let's uh, let's let's get those working here. So I'm going to say east panel um, equals new panel. Okay, and I want I want kind of a panel because I can run. Like we're trying to run animation with this, and I'll put the west panel down below here too. Okay, equals new. Okay. New panel, okay, and then um, for each of the panels, we're just going to pick and choose stuff that we think is going to make sense. Um, from let me see, I'm going to try the M label here, okay, stuff, and um, kind of pick through it for these guys, okay. So we already used the constructor. Um, we really don't need a font for this. Uh, what I do want to do is set a background color, okay. So I'm going to go like this and add that command up here. I'm going to say east panel um, set background. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick a color so I can make them, so you can see them. I picked like green and cyan before. I'm going to do that. So I'm going to say color dot um, cyan for one. Okay. So I don't need this stuff. Um, I have nothing in the center. I have no text or anything like that. Um, so I don't want anything like that. I just want to kind of make it and kind of add it, okay? And we'll see what happens. I think there's going to be a bit of a problem, but oh, we'll deal. Okay, so let's do this. Put this in here. And I'm going to put the east panel east. Okay. And then I can use these, uh, let me see. Oh, it's a J, J panel too, sorry. So I'm getting it there. Okay. And um, I'm going to use these also for my west panel. So there they go. Use this variable name. There we go. And then we'll make this be west. Okay, so that looks good. Alright, and let's see what happens here. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off. So it should be here. So we got something center, east and west in the middle. We have something south and north and we're you know we're fully using our border layout. So here we go. What happens is because there's nothing in the panels right now, um, it causes a little bit of a problem because this thing's still huge and the panels aren't the same. You know, they don't show up on the, the same way. Okay, um, I'll even make this one green. So we can see which is which. Uh, let's make this happen now. So west is really west, and east is really east. And um, but there's still is this problem for the middle. Okay, so to solve that, um, what we're going to do is we're going to look into the um, the panels um, interface to see if we can see anything that we can kind of set. Okay, so um, I looked at a couple of things, and one of the things I looked at was this, there was one called set maximum or set minimum. That seems pretty good. Let's try that. It's not going to help us, but we'll, we'll give it a try. But what it said was I need to, um, when I do this, um, let me see, set uh, minimum, maximum, no minimum, let's see, set minimum. What it says is it needs a dimension object. So I'm going to have to send it. I can't just send it like some numbers. I want to send it like, you know, how big you are. Like I want to say like it's going to be this big, um, but I can't do it. So I have to do is, but I can, as long as I send something like that's in a dimension object, it'll be okay. I happen to know that dimensions can take two values, like like left and, or uh, width and height. So if I go like this, it'll work. Like new dimension, okay. And then all I have to do is put two numbers in here. So what I want to do is I want to take um, the, the width of the panel, which is P width. And I want to maybe divide it by something. So I'll divide it by 3. Okay. 
and then I'm gonna go like make this thing be p height. Okay, so that's sort of a something I want to try. So see, I don't have an error, and I'll put one of these on the um, the other uh, west panel. Let's see if this helps me. Okay, so there are some commands we can try that belong to the interface, but this, these border layouts are kind of tricky because sometimes they override them or they don't they don't follow like this command. I'm saying make this thing at least be this big. And let's see what happens. See if it takes care of my problem. Okay, so it didn't it didn't do it, which is kind of a bummer. Okay. Um, another thing too, I want to do set the maximum size of the um, of the um, of the 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 guest field too. I haven't done that, but there's another one that we can use. Okay, so these guys don't work right now. Um, but what I want to do is go like this. I'm gonna say east panel. That and then there's a there's a command called preferred size. Okay, and they it also takes a dimension object. So I'm going to basically copy this part of this and give it down here. Let's see if that'll take care of my problem. Okay, so it likes it. Okay, I'm gonna use this command now to um to work with the West panel as well. And we'll see if this sort of solves some, some issues. Okay, let's see if this works. So here we go. Uh, we can take these guys out. Because we know it doesn't work. Can I clean it up? And let's see. Okay, see that's better. And I didn't actually do anything to the middle, but that's actually okay. Okay, and um, maybe we can add one to the middle one too. Okay, so now I have them in like thirds. Okay, and let me see if this will this will do anything. I might do something weird because I'm taking up all the room. But let me put this in here. So let me see if this will work for the guest field. Okay, so there we go. And we'll try it again. And maybe it won't cause any trouble one way or the other. But either way, it's fine. You can. Can see what happens. There you go. It still seems fine. Okay, so I got these two side things, and um, and I actually could make make them side things sort of larger and stuff like that if I wanted to just by fooling with this number. Okay, so um, so that's good. Okay, and that'll that'll get you to the interface. Okay, and I'll, and I'll do something else for the button.